Everest is the highest peak on Earth, reaching 29,029 feet or 8,848 meters above sea level. Observations indicate that the mountain is still growing, increasing by about 0.16 inches or 4 millimeters per year. However, what if one day it catches up with the Martian Olympus Mons, which stands at 69,649 feet or 21,287 meters? If Everest continues to grow at its current rate, it would take approximately 4 million years to match Olympus Mons. Can a mountain grow for so long or does its growth have limits? Despite its seemingly permanent appearance, the Earth's surface is very dynamic, constantly changing due to the movement of lithospheric plates. The Earth's crust is divided into seven main plates and 152 smaller fragments. The collision of these plates leads to the formation of mountains. When two plates collide, the impact compresses and thickens the rocks at the contact point, causing them to rise much like a carpet pressed against a wall. The Himalayas, with its 10 peaks over 8,000 meters, including Everest, formed due to the collision between the Indian and Eurasian plates. This process is ongoing, with the Indian plate continuing to move at approximately 7 centimeters or 2.8 inches per year, causing the Himalayas to keep growing. Not all tectonic collisions result in such giants. For instance, Mount Weichaproof in Australia rises only 486 feet or 148 meters above sea level. This has led some to call it the smallest mountain on the planet, while others consider it a hill. Mountains can also form through volcanic activity. Hot mantle streams or plumes from deep within the earth can break through the crust and erupt on the surface. Subsequent eruptions pile up more lava, ash and rock, creating mountains. The most common volcanic mountains are cinder cones, which are relatively small and can form quickly, but their average height is only about 300 feet or 91 meters, with a maximum of 1,200 feet or 366 meters. In contrast, stratovolcanoes and shield volcanoes grow more slowly. Stratovolcanoes like Vesuvius can rise an average of 8,000 feet or 2.5 kilometers and erupt violently, while shield volcanoes with their wide bases and gentle slopes grow through slow lava flows. Mountains do not grow indefinitely. Gravity plays a crucial role in limiting their height. The sheer mass of mountains causes the Earth's crust to bend and sink beneath them. When the weight becomes too much, the growth stops. The continued collision of tectonic plates can also cause the rocks beneath lower peaks to compress and thicken, leading to the formation of plateaus rather than higher peaks. Everest, for instance, may have reached its maximum possible height due to these factors. Glacial erosion also limits mountain growth. As peaks reach certain heights, glaciers form and erode the tops. This effect is more pronounced in warmer climates, where glacial erosion outpaces mountain growth. Volcanic mountains can sometimes grow faster than glacial erosion, but they can be affected by the loss of a magma source if tectonic plates shift. Rivers also play a role in shaping mountains by eroding their bases, creating deep crevices. This erosion can cause landslides, further limiting mountain growth. Underwater mountains can grow taller than land mountains because the water supports their sides, but they are still subject to gravity and landslides. While Everest tries to overcome gravity and ice, there are taller mountains on Earth, such as the Hawaiian volcanoes Mauna Kea and Mauna Loa. Mauna Kea, for example, measures 33,500 feet from its base to its peak, but much of it is underwater. According to the generally accepted definition, the height of a mountain is measured from sea level, so these underwater giants lose out in comparisons to Everest. In conclusion, despite the fascinating processes that form and grow mountains, 
the laws of geophysics set strict limits. Everest appears to have reached its maximum height and climbers even 4 million years from now are unlikely to find significantly taller mountains on Earth. The dream of a new Olympus Mons on our planet remains just that, a dream. If you like the video, give it a thumbs up, subscribe to the channel, click on the bell to enable notifications of new videos and don't forget to recommend us to your friends.